Hi ladies and welcome to the very first Makeup 101 video. I'm so excited to have you here and I'm so excited for all the input you all have given me and questions you have. Please keep them coming. I want to answer your questions and help you with your skincare and makeup needs. All right, so first of all, this is our very first video. So what are we gonna talk about? Skincare. <laughs> okay, what does skincare have to do with makeup? Skincare is vitally important to makeup. You can have the most expensive, most beautiful cosmetics. You can have the best makeup artist in the world come and do your makeup every single day. Wouldn't that be nice? But if you don't have good skincare, if your skin is not healthy, if it's not performing at its best, then no amount of makeup is gonna help. So skincare is vitally, vitally important. It is the foundation to beautiful um, makeup and to lifelong beauty. So where do we begin? The very first thing you need to know about skincare, the most important thing you can do to help um, to help uh, protect from early aging is something very simple, something we all have. It's water. Okay, what am I talking about? Okay, did you know that your skin is the very largest organ on your body? And what is the most important thing to your body's health and function? What are we mainly made out of? We're made out of water. So if you're not getting enough water, your skin is gonna age rapidly. Your cells are not gonna produce the, um, the right properties to keep your skin looking young and healthy and vital. Your collagen is gonna go away. Think about a raisin and a grape. Which would you rather have your skin be? The only difference between those two things is the amount of water in them. Now, of course, this won't stop you from aging. This won't keep you forever you know, having skin like a, a two-year-old. This is gonna help you to rejuvenate your skin. This is gonna help you look younger, longer, and your whole body's gonna feel better because the toxins in your body will be able to flush out. Your skin cells can be plump much longer and you'll be much healthier. Okay, other thing that water is vitally important for is cleansing your skin. This is something else that causes rapid aging is not properly cleansing your skin. Okay, so when do you need to cleanse your skin? You need to cleanse it morning and night. Sometimes things happen, we forget. We have busy lives, but this is so, so, so vitally important. Why cleanse it at night? Well, during the day, your skin is constantly bom being bombarded by toxins in the air, by the makeup you wear, by um, things you get around. It's getting dirt and oil and yuckiness all over it. I mean, you wouldn't eat dinner on a plate and then put that same plate back in the cabinet and eat on it again, that would just be disgusting. <laughs> it's the same with your face. It needs to be regularly cleansed. So you need to do this at night. And then at night while you're sleeping, your body kicks in and does extra cleansing. Your skin cells are being reproduced. It's exfoliating. It's the um, dirt and germs in your pores are pushing their way out to the surface. That's why a lot of times you wake up, even if you have drier skin, you can wake up with a somewhat of an oily sheen to your face because your your um, cells have been pushing all that nastiness out. So you need to cleanse that off. You need to start your day fresh and totally cleanse your face. So picking out a cleanser, picking out a skin routine, how do you do this? The very first thing you need to know is what type of skin you have. If you have oily skin, your skin is going to feel oily or damp. You might deal with um, lots of sweat issues with your makeup melting off your face. You might constantly have a shine on your face. Um, you might also deal with extra acne or blackheads. If you have dry skin, it's going to feel dry. It's going to feel tight. It's going to maybe um, wrinkle very easily. It's going to maybe sometimes feel kind of thin in certain areas of your face. This is how you know you have dry skin. But most of us are not on the extreme ends. Most of us are in the middle, being called normal skin. <laughs> normal skin is not normal. Normal skin is more combination skin. Usually having some oily patches, um, some dry patches, some, sometimes it can change from season to season. It can also change because of your hormones. I know my skin has changed after every single pregnancy. So some of it's been drastic changes, some of it's been mild changes, but it does change and you need to keep up with your skin and, feel what's, and be able to tell what's going on with it. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always comment and ask me more detailed questions. Okay, so now, one disclaimer I'm going to make, if you are dealing with a severe skin condition, rosacea, extreme acne, especially cystic acne, um, extreme eczema, um, you need to see either a dermatologist or an esthetician or both and get on um, a specialized skincare routine that will help you with that exact problem. You probably will not have to stay on that for all eternity, but you may need to stay on it for a few months and then taper off. 
I know I personally have had to do that since I dealt with um, cystic acne for a very long time and I had to gradually then wean my way off it onto just a basic skincare routine. Most of us, however, only need basic skincare. The best way to have basic skincare is to have base in natural ingredients. Why do I say that? Because your skin is natural. It's going to absorb natural botanicals, natural oils, natural vitamins, and not synthetics. If it is getting a lot of synthetics in there, then you're putting toxins in your body because it's going into your pores and seeping in there. So be careful with what you're putting on. Other thing that can happen is it can just sit on your face all day and really do no good and cause problems with your makeup. So the makeup and skincare that I am totally in love with right now, in fact, that's why I chose to become presenters because first I fell in love with the products, um, is the Unique line. I love them. They're natural based. They are free of all those harsh chemicals and dyes and nastiness that you want away from your skin. And they are gradually becoming all made in the USA products, which is awesome. Who doesn't want that? So first of all, cleansers. These are the Illuminate cleansers by Unique. This is the, um, the clear cleanser. It's actually a silver cleanser. Um, this is for oily, normal to oily skin or acne prone skin. This stuff is wonderful because it will not strip your skin. It's not going to irritate your skin, but it will get down and break those oils down and really thoroughly cleans your skin, helping with blackheads. I use this whenever it hits that time of the month and my skin starts acting up. It's amazing what this thing can do. It smells nice. It's clean. It's wonderful. This is the Illuminate um, Clean. This is for drier skin or also sensitive skin. Again, we're using botanicals like horse chestnut and ginkgo biloba and super leaf extracts. This thing is wonderful. This will also clean your skin, but it will not, it's not just like a cream cleanser. Sometimes when you have dry skin, you get a cleanser and it's just like this heavy cream and you just wipe off your makeup. It doesn't feel like your skin really got clean. This actually will clean it and have a gentle sudsing action, but it will not strip your skin. Wonderful. I love, love, love this stuff. Next thing to be thinking about is exfoliation. Um, a lot of people either do this to an extreme extent, thinking I'm going to get my skin really, really, really clean, or they don't do it enough. Exfoliating is a two-edged sword. You need to do it. I'd say two to three times a week you need to do um, a good exfoliation on your skin. However, if you exfoliate more than that, what's going to happen is you're going to hyper-exfoliate your skin, causing your skin to think that it's damaged or that it's been stripped, and it will cause it to produce more skin cells, more oil. It will just cause problems. It's going to cause blackheads. It's going to cause whiteheads. It's going to cause discoloration because your skin is irritated and can also cause acne. So if you're getting a, um, something like this, this is the Olay Detoxifying Pore Scrub, or something like um, St. Ives Apricot Scrub, which I know is like a cult favorite, um, only use it a couple times a week. First, cleanse your skin. These are not cleansers, they're exfoliators. So first, cleanse your skin, then use your exfoliator. And they work best in the shower when your skin is nice and damp. Another thing you can do, which is especially good for sensitive skin, and you can actually use this every day, um, but don't use it more than every day, is one of these little sonic brushes. You can get these everywhere. They're all different price ranges, but they all basically do the same thing with a soft brush. I put the cleanser on my face and then put it all over. It gets deep down in your pores, but it's gentle. It doesn't hyper exfoliate, it doesn't cause irritation, but still I would only do it once a day. But like I said, exfoliating is important to get off excess dead skin cells and oils. It's important whether you have oily or dry skin, because it will also help get off any dry patches and help with discoloration. Okay, what next? The next is toning. What is toner? <laughs> it's everywhere, we see it everywhere. Some people ask, because it's just a superfluous thing to do, just this thing we do because we spend money on it because they want you to spend this whole big package on skincare. No, it is important. A lot of us have enlarged pores here, and this will actually help clean that out. And temporarily, not permanently, because you cannot permanently change the size of your pores, make them look smaller. How does it do that? Once you've cleansed, and you've gotten all the gunk out, you put this on your face. You can either spray it, you can apply it to a cotton pad, you can pour a little bit in your hands and splash it on your face. What it's doing is it's going in that last step to cleanse those pores. It's refreshing your skin. And for a short time, it will shrink them down because that oil and nasty stuff is out of your pores. This stuff is wonderful. I love this. This is You're gonna see rose water. This is actually rose water. This is by Unique, all natural. You see rose water right now, it's in every single magazine. People are so big into this because it's a natural toner, but it also is great for inflammation of the skin, for irritation of the skin, if your skin is very hot. Um, 
this is wonderful because it cleanses your skin very gently, very simply, doesn't cause any problems, and it's just a beautiful way to take care of your skin. It smells wonderful. Oh, it smells so good. This is your fresh rose water. Okay, after you do a toner, what comes next? Your moisturizer. This is Divine Moisturizer from Unique. Again, I love this product. It's a nat another natural-based product that is going to work with your skin. It's not going to work against your skin. It's not going to just lay on top of your skin. This is going to work to help your skin um, continue to be healthy, to naturally take care of the skin cells, like a skin nourisher versus just something you're putting on your skin that's heavy and it's just going to sit there. This is a light, non-greasy formula. This is great for all skin types. A lot of people that have acne or oily skin will stay away from lotions. You should not do this. What happens is, again, your skin thinks it's, it's starving. It will start pushing oil out very rapidly, causing acne. However, you put something light on that's non-oily, non-greasy, just, just takes a little tiny bit. This will help your skin become healthy and balanced. Use this at night before you go to bed and then use it again in the morning under your makeup. For ladies that have very dry skin, you're thinking, okay, this is light moisturizer. This isn't going to work for my skin. It's very, very, very dry. You want to do a light moisturizer a light natural moisturizer under your makeup. Why is that? Because if you use a heavy moisturizer that's gonna sit on your skin, what's gonna happen is your makeup is gonna settle in all those little fine lines. It's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna work the way you want it to. Your makeup is actually not gonna be very effective if you're wearing something heavy. Go ahead and find a more moisturizing foundation. And we'll talk about that in a later video. But this is something Great, morning and night. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is an eye serum. This is Uplift Eye Serum. I love this stuff. A lot of people look at it and be like, this is kind of a pricey item. All eye creams are gonna be kind of pricey because they're very concentrated forms of moisturizers. This one is loaded with natural vitamins and skin lipids and antioxidants, which help to take care of free radicals. It helps to rebuild your skin cells, helps to boost your collagen. It does wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things. If your skin is drier, like mine is, you can use this for more than just your eyes. I actually at night use about three drops of this, put it in my hand, and then I'll apply it gently to my forehead, all over my eyes, to my smile lines, and to my lips. Then I will apply the Divine Moisturizer just on my cheeks and on my nose and on my neck. Like I said, this might seem a little pricey when you look at the price. However, look at how much is used of this. Only half a bottle is used of this. I've had this since the beginning of November. This goes very, very slowly. It's very concentrated. You will be glad you get this. It's worth the money because it lasts for a very, very, very long time. As for the cleansers, the regular cleansers and the moisturizers, these will last you about three months each. So very good, very good um, bang for your buck. A lot of times you can get stuff at a drugstore and say, oh, well, this is just $8, but then only last you a month. So think about what you're getting, because whatever you're getting, whatever is made, putting those ingredients is what you're putting into your skin, what you're putting into your body. And think about the long-term effects of that. Um, rose water will last you about, if you're only using it for your skincare, it will last you about three months. If you're using it for other purposes or during the middle of the day to refresh your makeup or whatever, this will go faster. Um, but the prices are very reasonable. Look at them not as just a one-time purchase. You're like, okay, I'm doing this right now. I'm buying this stuff. And, like, you're going to spend it all that month. These will take several months to be used up. And um, whenever you buy, I, I would suggest if you're going to spend your money on something, whether it be makeup or skincare, and you don't have that much money, you got to figure out who you're going to spend more money on, use it on your skincare. Your skincare you've got with you forever. <laughs> so if you want to have healthy, beautiful skin, spend your money there. That's where you're, where it's going to be. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. If you have specific questions for me, if there's something I did not answer that you want it answered, please, please, please let me know. Put your comments at the bottom. Um, put your likes on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Um, and let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. This is, like I said, this is our very first video. There's more videos coming. Keep your questions coming. All right. I love you ladies. Have an awesome, awesome day. And let's, uh, I would love to hear about your skincare and how it's going and what products are working for you and what's not working for you. All right. Bye.